So next, I want to just select the circle object, press Shift D, and then I'm going to lock it along the X axis and then just drag it up. And I'm going to work on this one because I'm going to keep this for reference when if I want to change the shape later. So now I'm going to convert this into a mesh. So to the shortcut to do that is Alt C and then just select the floating window and then you convert this into a mesh. So you notice the normals are flipped. So you can tab in to edit mode. Okay, I'm going to go to the face mode. Press A to select all the faces. Press Ctrl N to recalculate the faces outside. Right, right now I'm just going to move this light. Okay, I'm going to shift D to create another light so I can see this resulting mesh. Alright. Now if you tap it into it, you notice that this is a fairly medium, I would say, uh, mesh object. Okay, so right now the trick is how do I cut the uh, slot, alright? Okay, let me get move this camera out of the way first. Okay, first go into the uh, select the, the resulting mesh. We need to do some cleanup here because using this method to create the um, uh, to create this object you will end up with uh, some redundant meshes on top here. Like this cap is not capped properly. So I'm going to switch over the faces and I'll select I'll switch over the faces and okay, I think I better switch to shaded mode and second thought to solid mode so I can see the meshes. So I can select one of the, the face on top of this cap here, press L to select okay, press L to select the linked press L to select the linked faces and press X to delete away these faces. Right at the bottom you will have the same problem. Okay, I'm going to turn on this uh, occlude background geometry so I can easily pick up this bottom face. I'll select one other face, press L. Okay, so the related faces will be selected. I'm gonna delete them away. I'm gonna switch over to vertices. Holding down to your Alt key. Alright. Holding down to your Alt key. I'm gonna select one of the uh, points along the edge first. Holding down the Alt key, right mouse click. Okay, make sure you select along the edge here so that it selects around the loop here. So I'm gonna hit scale. Okay, to the you can press zero. Okay, let me undo that. Okay, press S, then press number zero, press enter, press W, and then remove doubles. Okay, so you fuse all these into one point. Okay, so let's just check to make sure. Okay, so now it's become one vertex point. Now let's fix the one on top. Holding down to Alt key, right mouse click. Okay, so now the entire row of points around here is selected. Press S to scale. Press number 0. Press Enter to, so that it collapse together. Press W and select Remove Doubles. You see 15 vertices are removed. Alright, so now we clean up the top and bottom. So let's work with the slot. Let's go to the front view. I'm going to tap into Edit Mode. And I'm going to just click left mouse click the cursor to be around here I'm gonna create a cube right now I notice the cube right is created as part of the uh, bishop chess piece so that means this uh, cube which I'm now scaling down flat is part of this object so now I'm gonna scale along the x-axis to make it a little bit bigger alright and I'm gonna rotate along the y-axis by 45 degrees. Let's make it negative 45. All right, let's go to the front view again. And you notice since the cube is still selected, you can just press grab and then move it. And I'm gonna figure out where I wanna put the. All right, so now um, I'll just estimate the slot to be around here. All right, so now I'm going to delete away half of this. Okay, half of this. Uh, mesh all right or oh, I can do that later first I'm going to show you how I'm going to cut a slot across here I'm not going to use boolean I'm going to just use the cutting tool so how do I differentiate between this cube and this bishop piece 
Now if you only want to select the bishop piece related vertices or faces, select one of them and then just press L. L just simply means you are selecting the linked uh, faces, vertices or edges. So with one point selected, press L. Okay, you notice that only the bishop piece, piece uh, sub-objects are selected. The, the cube which we created is not selected at all. Now with this done, I'm going to use my cutting tool just press K to bring up the cut tool and uh, we're going to use the knife exact and I'm just going to start slightly outside and click and drag one point down here click and drag cut here and then cut it all the way back to here again and press enter now you have to study the cut very very carefully because sometimes uh, in between these points right it doesn't cut cut through completely for example, it sometimes it might not cut from here to here, right? So you might have to manually select the face and recut it again. But seems to me the uh, cut is successful. It goes all the way here, it's slightly off here. Okay, the cut has successfully went all the way there. So now we don't need this uh, cube anymore. So I can select this cube. Okay, press L. Sometimes it doesn't work, so you have to wait for a short while. Press L again. Okay, now only the cube. Uh, vertice are selected. I'm going to press G to drag it out. Okay, you don't need it anymore. You can press X to delete delete it away. So now, you can see we have a nice cut that comes all the way from here to here. Well, you can adjust it until it becomes a perfect slot. Alright, you can manually adjust it. Or you can adjust it while the cube is still here. Alright, so once I've done that, I'm going to switch to the side view. I'm going to delete away half of it all right half of this uh, vertice or rather i'm going to delete half of these uh, vertices here so i'm going to press border select by pressing b i'm going to drag and put it as close as i can 